Hello guys, it's Jo here with another Time for Tea Designs video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute shaker card. Before I do though, I just want to show you a new product that we've got in the shop and it's this lovely peacock brush caddy. It's the perfect size to fit all of your Time for Tea Designs uh, brushes. Um, so all our beautiful blender brushes fit in there, whether they be the small size or the medium or the large. And we've also got these really cool little brush clips. So I've just emptied them out there onto my work surface. There are 12 colours in total and they just fit around the neck of each of your uh, brushes so that you can easily identify what colour you're going to be using and they fit into that little storage box too. So really, really cool. So moving on to our project now, um, I just wanted to show you those uh, because they're new in store and that I really do think that they're awesome. Um, but we're going to create a background now. So I'm using the All Occasions Critter Stamp Set and I've put some of my anti-static powder straight onto my Super Smooth cardstock because we're going to do some heat embossing. Now it's going to be really tough for you to see this on screen unfortunately until we actually do the reveal a little bit later on, but I'm using some tiny star stamps from the set and I'm just randomly stamping them with some of my embossing ink all over the surface of my piece of cardstock. I'm tipping over some of this bright white embossing ink, uh, embossing powder, sorry. And I'm just popping that all over my, uh, my background, making sure that I've covered all of those stamped images. So now I'm going to heat set that powder with my heat tool. I've warmed that up a little bit before applying it to my cardstock, but this is very thick cardstock. So it's 290 GSM. It's the, the cardstock that we um, have in store. So I've moved the heat onto the front of my cardstock just to speed up that process a little bit. So you can see a little bit there on screen where those, um, those little stars are on the back of our um, our card there um, but they will really show up once we add some ink to them a little bit later on but for now while I'm just letting that dry and cool down a little bit I'm going to stamp out our, our little image and I'm using the little bear or mouse image that's part of the All Occasions Critter set um, and this little critter is sat on a cloud and is having a lovely little sleep and is so cute um, and is really easy to colour. So I'm just using some of my toner greys here um, and just really um, some very simple colouring, starting with my lightest shade and then just using the darker shades, the T3 and the T5, to add a little bit of dimension to those areas where there would perhaps be a little bit of shadow. So just adding a little bit more of that and blending that through. And then where I've gone over the line, I've used a little bit of my blender brush there to um, just um, wipe that out. A little bit of pink to the ears and the cheeks. And that's in finished for now because I haven't decided fully what colour my background is going to be. So I didn't colour in my cloud as I want that to tone in with my, um, with my background. I'm going to use the coordinating dies here to die cut our little character. Um, so just popping that through my die cutting machine and there he is, super sweet. And um, I'm now going to start working on our background. So um, I've chosen three colours in the end, uh, milled lavender, peacock feathers and the chip sapphire. And I am going to be cutting this background out using this starburst dye. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the lightest of those colours, that milled lavender, where the sun or the circular portion of my dye will be in the centre. So I've applied that in uh, roughly where I think that that circle will be. And then I'm working around that centre point with the rest of my colours. So I'm working my way out from that centre point with the peacock feathers and then the chip sapphire. And what I'm wanting to create is this magical, um, ethereal kind of night sky. And you can see now that we've applied the ink to our uh, card base, just how much those stars are starting to pop through. Um, and it just looks so pretty. Um, and th these tiny little stamps are ideal for building this kind of background. I do love um, having those kind of stamps in my stash. So to smooth out the blend, I'm going back over 
each of those colors um, and using a little bit of my memo tape um, from Heffy Doodle just to protect my fingers or really to protect my project <laughs> from my fingers because um, I don't want to get the grease from my fingers or um, any uh, ink, different colored ink splodges onto my uh, project. So I'm happy with how that is and I'm just going to use my microfiber cloth just to clean off each of those little stars that will just buff them up a little bit so that they are a little bit brighter. I've already cut a piece of this lovely lilac card to fit an A6 card blank and that will make the basis of our card today but I now need to cut this background using our lovely sunburst cover plate die. So I just pop that through the die cutting machine and while that's cutting I'm going to just trim down a piece of acetate the same size as that panel. So I've just used that as a guide and just trimming that down with my scissors um, so that that will fit um, behind our shaker panel. So now I've got my die cut pieces. I'm just making sure that they're secured to my card base so that I can go through the process of inlaying each of those starbursts back into place. So I want to make sure that they're all where they um, where they originally came from because that way each of my little stars will match up. So I'm just using my pokey tool to free them from the background and some of my liquid glue and making sure that I've got um, that liquid glue right to the tip of those, um, those little pieces because I don't want them to lift. So I want to make sure that they're fully secured to my background. Um, that will mean then that I won't get any of my shaker bits stuck in them. They won't lift um, and look untidy in the background. So this is quite a therapeutic task. <laughs> I quite enjoy doing this. Um, it takes a little bit of time and patience, um, but the result is so effective. Um, and you can see from the background that we've created just how pretty that ink blending looks um, with those starry um, stamped images. Uh, it's This would look so lovely on a, on any number of different card uh, bases that you wanted to try. Um, so the last couple going in here, just making sure that they're all in place. And I think this one is the last one. And then I'm just going to carefully pull up the, um, the unstuck layer and then make sure all of our pieces are fully stuck down, which they are, which is fantastic. And it just looked really cool, just like that. Um, so now we need to pop our acetate on the back. So I'm just popping some liquid glue around the edges of our um, panel there, making sure that that's all stuck down. And then if there are any edges that are hanging over, I can just trim those off now where I didn't get a perfect cut the first time around. So that's going to fit eventually over the top of our little um our background there but I was conscious of the middle piece um being a little bit um bowing a little bit once I popped it on the front so I will solve that with a piece of foam um so foam sheet so I'm using some shaker tape first of all to go around the edges of my card base so um some of these do hang over a little bit because the edges of the card of the um, cover plate are quite narrow so where that is hanging over a little bit i'm just going to trim that down with my scissors um, and these are teflon coated scissors so they actually are very good for this technique and this is my foam sheet that i mentioned i'm just cutting out a rough circle you won't see it so it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's not perfect as long as you can't you know it's a little bit smaller than that um that area and i'm using some of my foam tape uh, yeah my foam tape sorry to um stick that in place and again i just want to make sure that um nothing's going to get lodged inside that so these are my little sequin bits. These are new to the store. Um, they're from Twiddler's Nook. They are the Snow Queen ones, and they are so perfect for this uh, this shaker card. I love the colours in there, and they're so shimmery and um, and pretty. I'm using some anti-static just around the edges of my um, around where I've applied my shaker tape, 
that will just help um, stop any static and any of those little bits sticking to the insides of the shaker tape there. And then I'm just curling back um, the corners of that tape so that I can get that in place properly before I remove all of it. And that's all in place now and everything shakes around. So that, that's uh, really, really cool. So here's my sentiment. It's the welcome little one. And I've used just a bit of um, ink blended cardstock there to match my background. And some more of that shake tape to give it a little bit of dimension and add that to the front. Now I know I'm using the lavender, I'm adding a little bit of the Heath colour of Copic marker to my um, my cloud. So it's just a subtle bit of colour, but it just then matches with, with the, um, the background that we've put on there. Some more foam tape, and that will give some dimension to our little character. And then some highlights with Jelly Roll Pen, and some sparkle with my... Um, I think this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And then some glossy accents for the nose because I, I just love making a little shiny nose for any of my characters. And there we have our shaker card is complete. So you'll see in the next clip um, me giving that a little bit of a slower shake around um, for you to see um, just how well that moves. So there you go. You can see it moving around and how adorable is that? so pretty and so sweet i'm really pleased with how today's card turned out i hope you like the project and it's inspired you to try something similar if you do like our video today then it'd be great if you could like and subscribe to our channel or join us every thursday evening on our facebook page for our facebook live crafting live with me um thanks ever so much for watching today guys um it was loads of fun and i'll see you again real soon bye, -bye now